in this video, I'm gonna be going over the pros and the cons of living in Chino Hills, California. I'm gonna be giving you guys the good, the bad, and the ugly, and everything in between. And if you guys stick around until the end, I'm gonna share a market recap of the current market in Chino Hills, California. So stay tuned, because we're gonna get after it right now. Chino Hills, California. If you're not familiar with Chino Hills, after this video, hopefully you guys get some good clarification and some great insight of what Chino Hills has to offer. And I'm gonna jump into some of those insights right now, such as the population. It has over 80,000 people and growing. There is tremendous amounts of things to do within Chino Hills. Now, I do wanna say this, According to Dr. John Husing, I believe it's pronounced Husing, right? He's a, a chief economics um, guy within the Inland Empire here in this Riverside County, San Bernardino County area. And he stated that Chino Hills is actually one of Southern California's best kept secrets, right? Because it's just so amazing. Now, what's really amazing about it? I mean, they have a lot to offer. And whenever I jump into the pros, you guys will probably get a good wide opening like, hey, wow, there is pretty amazing things, right? Now, let me tell you some of the little bit of amazing things that you can do and that Chino Hills does have to offer, such as the Chino Hills State Park, right? Now, before I jump into the Chino Hills State Park, I do wanna say that Chino Hills is well known for its high quality of life as well as its rural amazing atmosphere, its beautiful atmosphere within Chino Hills. Now, that kind of correlates with the Chino Hills State Park because it is amazing. When you guys go out there, especially if you love to be outdoors and you like to go hiking, biking, whatever the case may be, right? You are gonna have a great experience, a great experience at Chino Hills State Park, especially during the springtime when all the flowers are just blooming and they're gorgeous and they're all these different colors. It literally feels like a movie, like just like you're in a movie, you know, there's a beautiful sunset and you're just walking into the sunset and you just live happily ever after. Literally, that's how it feels when you're there during the springtime just walking. It's just that amazing. And to you know have that feeling, it's pretty great, right? But if you're not an outdoor person, there is alternative options. Like you can you guys can always go check out the Plains of Fame Air Museum in Chino Hills, where you guys are gonna learn about some expertly restored antique aircrafts and you know what they have to offer. I mean, it's a really cool little museum there within Chino Hills. And if you guys are like a top gun fanatic like myself, right, you're gonna have a blast. If you're not, I mean, it's still great information. It's just a really cool thing for you and your family to go check out, so why not? If you guys watch my Chino Hills vlog video, you should check out the shops at Chino Hills. I introduced the shops at Chino Hills on my vlog tour, so you should check it out so you can get a good understanding of what it is. It's an outdoor shopping center within Chino Hills where they have a bunch of restaurants, different stores, different cop coffee shops, you know, et cetera, et cetera. I could go on and on. It's a really rad place to go check out and just have a nice getaway or just a, a nice date with someone or just go on a shopping spree, why not, right? And so that's really a cool thing about Chino Hills is that it has all these great outdoor activities to do within its community. Now that's gonna kind of cover some of the gifs about Chino Hills. Now I really wanna dig deep into the pros and cons for you. So I always say that I'm gonna give you guys the veggies before I give you the dessert. Well, you know, my mom used to tell me that and I won't do that to you because I'm actually gonna give you a dessert first, which we're gonna jump into the pros right now. So dessert number one. Pro number one or dessert number one is gonna be the great schools in Chino Hills. So the schools in general in Chino Hills are amazing. So the Chino Hills Unified School District are actually leading the county in API results. There is 10 elementary schools, two middle schools, and two high schools. 
four of these schools are California Distinguished Schools. You know, that's pretty big award and an achievement to have under your belt. So, you know, for these schools to be like high rated, um, California top rated schools is really, really great. So you know without a doubt that your child is gonna have a great education and they don't just look at academics. You know, what makes a great school is not just the academics, but it's the overall rating, you know, how well their sports program is, the academics does play a part, how well the school is funded, the student to teacher ratio, you know, everything gets accounted for. And all of these schools, if you watch my vlog tour, are pretty much rated eight out of 10 or eight and above, which ranks pretty high on the scale. So, you know, without a doubt, again, your child is gonna have some great education, great mentorship, and overall just a great time. So that is gonna finish off pro number one on to pro number two, so more of the desserts. Pro number two, which can be pro number one in reality, depending on how you look at it, if you have children or not, but pro number two is gonna be the crime and safety of Chino Hills, California. So if that is important to you, then hey, you gotta look no further. Chino Hills is a great place to be. Now the crime and safety in Chino Hills is actually really, really well. So in 2016, the FBI data results stated that Chino Hill is in the top four safest city in all America when it comes to violent crime and top 16 when it comes to pretty much everywhere else. And they're comparing this to other similar uh, similar cities of its size. So ranging from 50,000 to 100,000 in population. So that's a really great feature to know. Now over the course of you know years, Chino has just become a safer and safer community. So if you look back at the statistics starting, you know, probably from 2000, it wasn't really up there. Um, Chino Hills really wasn't grown as much as it is now, but it's kind of been growing at a nice steady pace, but also it's been getting safer. Usually it kind of goes, you know, backwards is usually as a city kind of grows, crime t tends to kind of go up statistically right now chino hills that is not the case so that's a really cool feature that the crime and safety is just you know paramount to the city of chino hills so you know without a doubt that your safety and your loved one's safety will be taken care of in chino hills california so that right there is going to finish off pro number two on to pro number three to finish off the pros here with pro number three it is going to be the out door recreation right so one of the cool things i've already mentioned the chino hills state park but as well as the big league dreams chino hills sports park it's a beautiful 33 acre multi-use sports facility it attracts a bunch of tournaments visitors and also new commercial ventures to chino hills california which is really just amazing as well as they also have the McCoy and Recreation Center. So it's another beautiful 20 acre facility, including uh, two lighted arenas, as well as gazebo covered bleachers, community building and trail attractions. I mean, I can go on and on, but you know, if you really like these outdoor recreations, Chino Hills just might be the place for you. So that's gonna finish off all the pros. Now there is a whole lot more pros to mention. I can briefly say it is a great place if you're looking for job opportunity. It's great for families. It has a great nightlife. The diversity is awesome. It has awesome weather and the health and fitness industry is also amazing within Chino Hills. So those are again, some of the other pros associated with living in Chino Hills, California. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna jump into your guys' veggies. So let's go into con number one. Con number one of living in Chino Hills, California is going to be the drum roll please, the cost of living. Unfortunately, yes, the cost of living is a bit higher in Chino Hills, California. However, not as high as some would think. It, yes, it is still a little bit higher compared to the national average, but compared to some of the other cities within Riverside County, it's not so bad. So according to living, um, livingcost.org, which you guys should show a little map right here, right? Chino Hills in the, is in the top 16% of the most expensive cities in the world. 
So yes, Chino Hills can get a little bit pricey as you can see on this chart, you know, what it costs to live here for a single person or a family of four. And so that's just kind of a little insight for you guys. So you guys know, yes, the cost of living is a tad bit higher. Well, when you compare it to other places, it doesn't actually seem that bad. Yes, I just put this graph up here. Now, when you're comparing to places like Temecula or Marietta or Carlsbad, where they're in the 0.5% of the top most unaffordable places to live, you know, within um, the world, you're going to kind of think, well, Chino Hills isn't that bad if it's ranked 16, while other cities in the same county are ranked 0.5 or top 1%, right? So that's just kind of a little uh, FYI you're, for your information, you know, so you guys are well aware. The cost of living, yes, it is high, but not as high as some other cities in the surrounding area. So that right there is going to cover con number one on to con number two. Con number two of living in Chino Hills, California is going to be the commute. So yes, if you are, you don't have a car, it is kind of more of a car dependent city. So you will need to get one. Now the average commute in Chino Hills, if you do live there, for the average resident is roughly around 39 minutes. So yes, it is slightly above the national average of 26 minutes. So you know without a doubt that you most likely will be commuting. So that is one major takeaway of living in Chino Hills is that you will have a longer drive to work unless you work from home then hey you don't have to work about it uh, worry about it if you're working remote then you know by all means hey more power to you and we are jealous so that is one of the you know downsides of living in Chino Hills is you will have a longer commute so that is going to cover con number two now we're going to get into con number three the final con of living in Chino Hills California con number three and the final con that you guys have been waiting for it is the lack of transportation now if you are living in and around the chino hills area then you already know but a lot of people don't really know and they kind of brush it off now the city of chino hills is committed to providing a safe great you know public transportation transportation system However, the current lack of the public transportation system is kind of, you know, a hinder to the current residents of Chino Hills because um, especially if they're not car um, dependent, then, you know, that kind of hurts a lot of the residents there. So if you do not have a car, it is highly recommended that you probably get a car or some other forms of transportation so you can get in and around the city of Chino Hills. Now, I know Chino Hills is committed to improving their infrastructure over time. So yes, there can be more of that public transportation where there's buses, trains, or maybe more Ubers and Lyft. We don't know uh, currently, but there is plans in the works to upgrade the public transportation in that infrastructure within Chino Hills. So that right there is gonna finish off all the cons of living in Chino Hills, California. Now what I'm gonna do, you guys, is I'm gonna share with you a little market recap of everything that we just covered so you guys can get a good understanding of what Chino Hills really has to offer. On to the market recap. Woo! Market recap time. That took all about one and a half seconds. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you really enjoyed this video and you took you know, some good insight from it and what Chino Hills does have to offer for you and your family, right? And so I hope you understand really all the pros and all the cons and how can you really you know make a good judgment call of whether or not this is the right place for you now if you do love great education if you love low crime and you know the, the safety and the crime if you love it to be low you know and you don't have to worry about it um, of anything happening to you or your loved one this might be the place for you as well as hey if you love like health if you love the diversity if you love the nightlife if you love the outdoor activities that it has to offer then again it might be a place for you however you know the downside if you're just looking for something that has more of a public transportation um, that is going to be a little bit difficult right but that is something for you guys to kind of measure out and weigh outweigh whether the pros do outweigh the cons or the cons just take it way too much where it just doesn't make sense for the pros overall chino hills it is a great community it's actually rated an a community in niche.com for 
you know, just having a great place to live and raise a family. So if you are looking to raise a family, again, an awesome, awesome place. So that's going to wrap this video up. Thank you for watching Living in South California.